the fifth kind. Australian newspapers have reported Yowie encounters since the beginning of the European occupation of Australia. Aboriginal Australians told the early European settlers about the hairy man of the bush. The Bible also hints at a genetic context for the man covered in red hair. There are close similarities in the Hebrew texts concerning Abraham and Sarah, the progenitors of the Hebrew tradition, and Brahma and Saraswati, the patriarch and matriarch of humanity, according to Hindu tradition. These similarities suggest that Abraham and Sarah of the Bible may in fact be far more ancient figures than we have ever imagined, as primordial as Adam and Eve. In the book of Genesis, Abraham appears following the total destruction of a previous civilization. He represents a fresh start for humanity. His name, Abraham, means the progenitor of many peoples. The name Brahma means the father of humanity. Abraham, Brahma. Sera, Seraswati. Could these similarities suggest that Abraham and Sarah of the Bible may in fact be far more ancient figures than we have ever imagined, as primordial as Adam and Eve? In Genesis, a close encounter between Abraham and Sarah and three sky people, beings from another planet, results in a new father for humanity, Isaac, a son provided to Abraham and Sarah by artificial insemination. From Isaac's generation emerged two completely different kinds of people. The crafty and wily and ambitious, hairless man, Jacob, preceded by a man who was as strong as an ox and his body covered with thick red hair, Esau. Jacob gets the upper hand and becomes the ruler by providing food to manage and pacify the red-haired Esau. Could these stories of two different kinds of people be the Bible's recollection of a succession of hominids resulting from E.T. intervention in the story of many peoples? Thanks for watching The Fifth Kind. Click on the links in the description to watch the full video. Check out our official website at fifthkind.tv. Thank you for joining us today on The Fifth Kind TV. The creator of The Fifth Kind TV, Anthony Barrett, and I are hugely appreciative of the enormous wave of interest and engagement on topics like these, which have built The Fifth Kind TV and made Escaping from Eden an international bestseller. If you're interested in questions of human origins, our place in the cosmos, the possibility that our ancestors had contact with or were colonized by extraterrestrial visitors in our distant past, then you will be fascinated by my latest book, The Scars of Eden. Has humanity confused the idea of God with memories of ET contact. The Scars of Eden will take you more widely around the world, more deeply into our mythologies and ancestral narratives, right up to the minute in terms of current disclosures and revelations as we probe these questions. And if our ancestors did have contact, what is the legacy of it today? In our psychology as a species, in our religious thought, in our geopolitics, what are the marks that clue us that humanity has confused the idea of God with memories of ET contact? I love getting into conversation with my readers. I love engaging in the comments on these videos and documentaries. So please go and get your copy from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kindle, wherever books are sold. And I will look forward to being in conversation with you in our comment section here. 
So thank you once again for watching The Fifth Kind TV. We love your company. We love making this journey with you. And I'll keep my eye open for you in the comments section.